Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how to write a program by using switch level modeling in Verilog language. In Verilog language, uh, there are four types of modeling is there. One is gate level modeling, data flow modeling, behavioral modeling, and switch level modeling. So in the switch level modeling, we will use basic PMOS and NMOS gates. In PMOS, we have three terminals, gate, source, and drain. The corresponding syntax for the PMOS and NMOS is our first drain terminal and then source and then gate. The keyword is PMOS. We will put it over here. PMOS and open the bracket. Drain, comma source, comma gate. Where the drain will act as an output and the source will act as an input. And then the gate will act as a control signal. Let us introduce the PMOS will always active for if, I, if input is 0. And NMOS will always active for if input is 1. PMOS will be always active for input 0 and NMOS will active for input 1. Let us write a program for CMOS inverter. The CMOS inverter is nothing but CMOS is a combination of both PMOS and NMOS where PMOS is pull up network and NMOS is pull down network. So here both PMOS and NMOS has been connected to form an inverter. If we give input 0, then PMOS turns on and NMOS turns off. So the corresponding VDD is Connected to the ground because PMOS is on condition. So it will be 1. If input is 1, then NMOS turns on and PMOS turns off. So the ground is connected to the output line. So the output will be 0. So for this logic, let us write program. Module is a keyword and then inverter. The output variables are out and the input variable is in. And declare the input variable input in and declare the output variable output out and here we should declare the power and ground um, by means of supply one so this power will supply the one so supply one is the keyword supply one is the keyword the power is the corresponding variable supply zero is a keyword and ground is the variable and for first PMOS, PMOS is the keyword and gate name M1. So for PMOS M1 gate, the syntax is drain source gate, output, input, and control. So here the output is out, and then the corresponding source terminal is input, is power, and the control terminal is gate in. So here I can write as out, comma, power comma in likewise for n mass the corresponding output terminal is your drain out so for the n mass the source is ground so ground is this terminal and the control signal is in out ground comma in and n module let us execute this program in Xilinx window. So I have copied this program and then syntax has been verified. And then for this program, let us write a test bench. Very lot test fixture. So here for first initial value is n is 0. And after 100 nanoseconds, the input will be 1. And after 100 nanoseconds, the input will be changed to 0. So we have given two cases. For inverter, it, the input, either it will be in the 0 or 1. So let us simulate this behavioral modeling. So here you can see when we are giving 0, the output is 1. When we are giving output is input is 1, the output is 0. For 0, the output is 1. So the CMOS inverter is working. So now let us see how we can do for CMOS NAND gate. How we can do for CMOS NAND gate. The 2 input NAND gate. For 2 input NAND gate, 
So the PMOS will be in the parallel side and the NMOS will be in series. For NOR gate, the PMOS will be in series and NMOS will be in parallel. So if we give input A and Z, A and B as 0, 0, then both PMOS will be in on. So the both NMOS will be in off. The output will be VDD. If we give 0, A as 0 and B as 1, so and then only this transistor will be on and this will be in off. So this VDD is connected to the output line. But here in 0 and 1, 1 NMOS will be in on and 1 B will be in off. The B will be on and A will be in off. So at, an, at any instant, for both should be on, the only case is if both are A and B are 1, then both NMOS will be on. So during that case only, this both will be turned on. That time only the output will be in the ground side. The remaining side, the output will be in one side. So you can see here in the first case, if A is 0, B is 0, both will be on. If A is 0, B is 1, A will be on. So we will to the ground line. If A is 1, B is 0, A is off and B is on, we will disconnect to the output line. When both are 1, 1, this both will be in off, both will be turned on, and must both will be turned on, and the ground is connected to the output line. So this is the operation for CMOS NAND gate. So for this logic, let us write a program module NAND gate output inputs are a comma b and then the input variables are a comma b and the output variables are out. So here we have a wire. The wire is nothing but between the interconnection between the two components. So between the A and B, we have a wire. So the wire can be represented as W. The wire can be, uh, we have represented that as a W. And then as usual, the supply 1 will be VLD here. And supply 0 is ground supply 0 is ground here so now let us write a program for pmos first pmos m1 transistor so as usual the output terminal and then input terminal and the control signal so out vld and then a for this pmos out vld B out out is a drain and V is a source and A is the control signal. Likewise, PMOS second gate M2 out V is a source and B is the control signal for NMOS M3. So here the corresponding drain terminal is out and then for source terminal is this in between connection line. So W is the corresponding source and the control signal is A. And for this second B gate, the output is W and the source is V and ground and the control signal is B. So out W one a and then n mos m4 uh, sorry w is the corresponding output for the second gate for this b gate the output is w and the input is ground and the control signal is b input is ground and control signal is b and n module
So NAND is already identifier, so we will write this NAND1. So syntax has been verified. So for this one, let us write here corresponding test bench. So our first case a is equal to zero and b is equal to zero. In second case, a is equal to zero and b is equal to one. In third case, both will be one zero. In last case, both will be one one. So we have given all the four cases. Let us execute. So here we can see for the first case a is equal to 0 and b is equal to 0 the output is 1. For second case j is equal to 0 b is equal to 1 the output is 1. For third case the a is equal to 1 and b is equal to 0 the output is 1. And for both for last case both are 1 1 the output is 0. So this is how we can do for and basic logic gates using switch or modeling. So you please try it for remaining gates. Thank you.